One can compare being a founder with someone doing extreme sports. It demands a strong body and mind. No matter where the founder is from, you'll find a DNA containing courage, vision and enormous resilience. Now let's see who the finalists of the category Founder of the Year are. Founder of the Year Kengo Kitara, Cambodia Kengo founded Argibadi, which mission is to help farmers through the financial services facilitation. They are the aggregators of the agricultural supply chain, from the early stage of cultivation to crop trading. Ivan Jelusic, Croatia. Ivan founded Orca, which is on a mission to become world's number one technology provider for first-person view, FPV, and advanced remote reality, RR, applications. Roman Gilmanov, Russia. Roman is the founder of Compensare, which is a service that helps to get the rightful compensation if an airline screwed up your flight. Kari Tor Runazan, Iceland. Kari founded Authentic Company, which is on a mission to revolutionize the identity verification and authentication business. Lin Musonda, Zambia. Loon founded Savannah Premium Chocolate, Zambia's first single origin bean to bar chocolate maker, using the finest cocoa beans that's grown in Africa. Fabrizio Perone, Italy. Fabrizio is the founder of Balsole, end to end influencer marketing platform that allows brands to integrate key influences into their digital communications in a fully automated way. Let's find out who has earned the right to carry this prestigious title for the next year. Founders seem to be in a problem-solving mode all the time. It's a bit similar to solving a Rubik's Cube on limited time from scratch each time. It's no easy task, but it's possible. And for each time, founders just get better and better. The Rubik's Cube was, by the way, made in 1974 by Hungarian inventor and professor of architecture, Anu Rubik, but got its breakthrough in the mainstream household and reached its popularity in the 80s. Well, let's see who the winner is. It's right here in Cubic. It's Kengo Kitaro from Cambodia. Thank you for choosing me this wonderful award. When I was selected the founder of the year in ASEAN in January of last year, I was able to meet everyone at the venue in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. To be honest, I never imagined that the world would change so much at that time. I love traveling around the world and experiencing new culture and way of thinking. So, this kind of change is not very welcome for me. But on the other hand, it also means that there are many challenges we can tackle. And it's also a great opportunity for startups. So let's work together to move the world in the right direction. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Kenko Kitara, on the Founder of the Year Award. You deserve it as you are a true visionary by connecting rural farmers to the financial ecosystem, empowering entire communities.